Bureau of Substance Addiction Services, um, and I uh, oversee recovery support services, along with Danielle O'Brien, who's there in the back of the view, long hair. Um, we oversee, t uh, well, you know what, before I do that, I'm a person in long-term recovery. And, um, That, that I had, I brought notes, like yeah. lots of notes. <laughs> and then she's like, well, uh, uh, you know. <laughs> so I'm like, well, yeah, I'm, I'm just a really good like, addict and you need to do everything in detail. Um, and so I just want to share a little bit about myself. So uh, 17 years old, pregnant, New York City, uh, first pregnant teenager in a uh, therapeutic community. 24-hour uh, residential, was there for two years, had my child, um, eventually worked for them, came out of there around 19, 20, 20 something years old with a, with a child and got kicked out because I broke some rules. And, um, and none of them has to do with using, um, but they were rules. And, um, and then ended up uh, homeless for the next two years uh, with my baby. Um, and, um, and then eventually made it to Massachusetts um, because there was a place for me to live. And, um, and over the years, um, opened up the first Latino outreach drug program in Worcester called Primera Parada. Um, and that, that was a wild, very big um, uh, But, but the, I think that what I, what I want to share is that, you know, while I was in treatment, I got my GED. While I was in recovery, I got my master's degree. Um, and the, so, so I shared that because it's, it's incredibly important for people in recovery to understand that with hope, anything is possible. Anything is possible. Um, and so um, presently, uh, when I came into the Bureau of Substance Addiction Services, I had already been working in the field for 27 years. Um, mostly local, also statewide and nationally. Um, in prevention intervention, but not in recovery. Um, I was trying to stay away from treatment because it was just like, too much for a person in recovery to be working. Um, and, um, and after 27 years, I was approached by the Bureau to oversee recovery support services. So when I went in, in 2013, we had five recovery support centers. Um, I oversaw more, the Massachusetts Organization for Addiction yeah. Recovery. Yeah. Yeah. Give up for more. <laughs> Hard of hearing who are impacted by substance addiction and, um, and, and the helpline at that time. Um, and I started creating recovery coach trainings. Now, they had done two trainings before I got there. Um, since then, we have trained over 5,000 people in the state of Massachusetts. So that's 5,000 people who are prepared to work in the recovery world. Um, and many of them, hundreds of them, are recovery coaches.